Hey guys, welcome back to TechFapt and Oxygen OS Open Beta 8 based on Oreo 8.1 has been released for OnePlus 5T today and the update size is about 348 MB. There are only few changes included in this ROM for the OnePlus Launcher, OnePlus Switch and the Messages app. If you are on Open Beta 7, you can download this 348 MB update via OTA directly. If you are running previous open beta versions or stable ROM, the update size varies. For manual flash, go to settings, system updates, hit the gear icon at the top right corner, select local upgrade, pick the downloaded OTS zip file and flash it. So we are done updating our phone, let's go to the settings about phone and it is open beta 8 based on Oreo 8.1 and the security patch date is May 1. First change is the hidden space in the app drawer. You can get into this hidden space by swiping right on the edge of the screen. What you can do with this hidden space is that now you can hide applications from your app drawer and the hidden applications show up in this hidden space. To hide the applications, hit the plus icon at the bottom edge of the hidden space and select the applications to hide. In order to remove the applications from the hidden space, long press on the desired applications and select unhide. Next change is the toolbox card in the OnePlus shelf. Go to the shelf by swiping left on the home screen, hit the plus icon and you can add toolbox from here. By default you get few apps and actions in the toolbox but you can also customize them and add your desired apps and shortcuts. Now you can also edit dynamic icons on the app drawer like weather, calendar and clock and as you can see the time in the clock icon changes dynamically and you can customize it according to your preference. Next change is with respect to the OnePlus Switch app. The user interface has now been optimized. The changes are mostly under hood like optimizing remaining time for actions, stability and performance improvements. Group MS feature has been added to the Messages app. In order to access this feature, open Messages app, hit the three dot icon at the top right corner, settings, select Group MS from Multimedia Messages and here you can enable group text messages with which group text messages will be sent via MMS and all recipients can see replies from others. And coming to the benchmarks, this is a slight improvement with respect to NT2 version 7 results. The benchmark score got bumped up by 2k and now it's 2,4595. With Geekbench 4, it's 1976 for single core and 6731 for multi core compared to 1993 and 6839 with Open Beta 7. And with Nina Mark 2, it's the same 60.2 frames per second. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon in my next video.